works in promotion. Maybe shot this local show called in the spotlight. I already got that. <laughs> Just uh, some practice notes. Chris Ivory, Greg Romeus um, are the two players still on failed physical list. Uh, these guys did not practice real quickly. Ezra Butler with his hamstring, Tom Johnson, calf, Johnny Patrick, right knee, Jeff Charleston with the ankle, Fabian Washington, hamstring, Will Herring, Will Herring with the calf, Chris Taylor, ankle, Abreu Franklin with the left knee, Clint Ingram, right hamstring, Roger Allen with the right knee, Gerard Faison, right knee, Carl Nix, X-rays came back negative on his left knee. Uh, I think we're looking at a week with him, which was good news. Uh, we limited Joe Bell. Uh, we did not practice Mark Ingram. He had some swelling in his le left knee. Uh, it's nothing serious, and so we held him out. We'll see where it's at tomorrow. And then Junior Gallette uh, went through half the practice, and we're going to look at his left knee. Any questions? You look at um, a similar situation, maybe how Rod Harper made a team a couple of years ago, and then you have Joe Morgan kind of in a similar situation, making big plays. Uh, just is there is that comparable? In, in your I, I think I think I think it's very comparable. I, I, you know, one player was a rookie free agent in uh, in Joe and Rod. You know, was really a free agent into the league, but both made some pretty strong impressions early in training camp. So. Uh, both in the kicking game, both played receivers, so I think there's a lot of similarities. As far as uh, Joe Morgan's play, I mean, he keeps continuing to open. You know, eyes. he's he's young, he's he's green. There's a lot he's working on, and yet, you know, he's still uh, explosive, and, and you can see that he runs well. Um, you know, and and those are things that that showed up right away in our first week, and yet there's still a number of little things, a lot of little things that he's working on to uh, refine his game. But, you know, we've been pleased with. Uh, his quick development and and the explosiveness he gives us in the return game is as well as a, a threat outside. Talk about that weak side linebacker battle with the uh, Shanley to see us right now. So they kind of going flip off and back and forth for once and twos. Well, it, you know it's going well. Um, we're getting a chance to see both of those guys. Uh, we've still got you know two more preseason games to go and and, and a lot more uh, before we make a decision. Uh, I see both those players contributing. Obviously, um, both of them are athletic and and both. Uh, have experience. Certainly, Scott's got more experience, and, and John's done a great job. Uh, he's healthy now, and and, uh, and and both of them are having solid camps. How do you handle a, a Mark Ingram at this point? Hadn't missed practice uh, at all, but well, he's he's today. he's he's a quick study, so he missed today. You know, and, and we might sit him tomorrow as well, just to to calm the knee down. But uh, you know, he's going to be fine, and he, he's had one of the better camps of this young class. So uh, you know, we want to be smart. But he's picked things up very quickly, and and uh, we'll just see where he goes. And a little relieved with Carl. I know you, you absolutely, him. absolutely. Yeah. I, you know, I think the concern yesterday, uh, leaving the practice, was you know it might have been a longer period of time. Uh, and then you know shortly after, about an hour after practice, we got the MRI results, and and those ended up being negative. So uh, that that was good. Coach, where would you be without those practices or whatever you want to call them, the Tulane? Uh, you know, I, I think more than anything, uh, I felt like it, it gave us a, you know, a better chance to come into training camp in shape. Um, I, I think, uh, you know, the experience we have with, with a lot of the same things in place in regards to our personnel and, and our schemes, both defensively and offensively, uh, help when you when you have that uh, off season that you miss, but. But I think more than anything else, it's the, the strength and conditioning aspect that that was uh, was most important. What are some of the main issues you guys are working on this week, preparing for the Raiders? Is there anything special you guys are doing to play that team? There's nothing different right now. We're still in a training camp mode, and so our preparations for Oakland uh, really begin later this week. And so what we're doing now is is working on our base, red zone and nickel run pass, offense and defense, kicking game, and then as the week goes on, then we begin to spend more time on, on the Oakland game plan, and I, I think that's pretty common in the preseason. Uh, going back on Ingram, you've got a lot of talented running backs, Ingram, Sproles, Thomas. Do you see any one of them getting the majority of carries this year, or is it going to be a committee situational type of deal? That's a fantasy football question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... No, I, I think this. Uh, I think at that position, you, you, you have to have 
more than uh, one talented player. And, uh, you know, each week, depending on the game plan, um, you know, certainly we, we view all of those guys are guys with significant roles in our offense. And by week, uh, a lot of it would be dependent on the opponent. I, I think Chris Ivory, Joic Bell, or some other guys that, that are also going to factor in. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a depth chart we feel good about. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to see each week. And, and a lot of that kind of can unfold as the season goes on. But uh, each one of those guys is uniquely different. I didn't help you, did I? <laughs> Coach, um, at, you know, across the country, you always hear about a guy like uh, Drew Brees and what he does in the field. But in your opinion, how, how does he inspire that city with everything he's done? Well, he's a great leader, and he's someone who's, aside from football, very actively involved in the community. Uh, he's very visible, and you know, it's uh, it's just the, the key elements to leadership. You know, he's someone that has got great respect, not only in the locker room, uh, but with our fan base. Uh, there's a, it starts with a great work ethic, you know, and and, uh, and so his success on the field is one thing, but the type of guy he is 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 very much the same. And uh, and I think our our fans. Uh, you know, look for someone who, who gives them a good day's work, someone uh, who coming after Katrina really uh, brought hope and, and, and brought a, a sense of pride to our city, and, and certainly he's done that. He's been through quite a bit himself. Absolutely. And, and I think there's, uh, there, there's a way to really compare the two and the adversity he's overcome and, and recovering from the shoulder surgery that he did in 06. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good story. Yep, yeah, thank you. Anything else? Thanks. Your first impressions coming out here, it seemed like uh, coming off the Texans game, uh, Greg really uh, threw you guys into the fire uh, yesterday with, with those up-downs and I guess kind of point of emphasis, you guys need to improve, right? Yeah, I mean, it was expected. Uh, yeah. we, we knew that was coming, so, um, you know, it wasn't a big surprise to us, uh, especially when you play the way we played. And, you know, it's not really about Greg and, and the coaches yelling. It's really about us wanting to perform well. Um, you know, we're more disappointed in ourselves and not really worried about what the coaches were thinking and saying. It's just us wanting to get better and be consistent. When you leave a game like that and you see the way – kind of leaky tackles and that sort of thing. What are your impressions and what do you uh, want to take out and, and get accomplished after a game like that? After a game like that, you, you try to watch the film, dissect it all, really look at it objectively, um, understand where, where the breakdowns were, and then try to improve from there. Um, you know, you can't fix everything all in one day. Uh, so you have to take the things that you can improve on from yesterday's practice, take care of that, try to get better today, so on and so forth. Um, I think that we did a good job addressing some of the issues yesterday. Uh, today we tried to get better again, and then we just keep moving forward and get ready for Oakland. And it seems like the linebacking race has been pretty fluid on both sides. It seems like there are different faces in different places every day. Um, what, what have you made of that battle both on both ends? Uh, I think it's been very healthy, very competitive. Uh, I think on both sides you have tremendous athletes. They're playing well. They're doing well. And, uh, you know, that's all part of competition. Um, that, that's probably a good thing right now is that we have good guys, good athletes that can that can go out there and make plays. And fortunately we have a healthy competition going. How much Last did one Tulane help? I mean, if you didn't, if Tulane? You, yeah, I mean, yeah. if you didn't have that, where would you all be now? You know, it's tough to say because fortunately we did have that. And uh, we did have the rookies out there. and. And uh, we had them getting getting after it, learning the plays. So, fortunately for them, they're, in my opinion, a step ahead of most rookies in the NFL right now. And uh, that's why they're able to come out right now and have a chance to compete, uh, have a chance to get some playing time. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, guys. A lot of good work in goal line and plus two matches. Well, I mean, in, anytime you get in there in the in the red zone, the tight red zone, um, obviously as receivers, we're going to be a little bit excited. Um, one, we don't have to run as far. And two, we get a chance to score a touchdown. So, um, you know, it's a fun day. It's always competitive. The defense doesn't want to let us score. We obviously want to score. So, um, you know, it's good to come out here and have that competition. But that one hand catch is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, there's a great ball. You know, all I had to all I had to do is just put my hand up, and it just kind of stuck. So, you know, 
two or three great runs. Covered pretty good on that play, so, you know, I guess it's good to practice something like that in case you have to run into that situation in the game. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I feel like I've had plenty of one-handed catches in my career. Um, but, you know, I'd like to have a whole lot more and, you know, just to, just to have a quarterback that has that kind of trust. I mean, um, I didn't even know, but he said the ball rolled back to him and he just kind of launched it up there and gave me a chance. So anytime that happens, I have to make the play and make sure he comes back to me. Lance, where are you guys at right now as a team compared to where you were last week? Well, we're, we're, we're in another week of training camp. <laughs> I know that's that, that for a fact. You know, they got us out here full pads. We're going offense, defense every day. Um, we're getting great work in. and. and uh, we're getting better. I mean, that's that's the main reason why we came out here is to, to kind of get away from everything and, and get refocused. And, um, you know, we're trying to prepare for September 8th. What do you think the number one thing that you guys have progressed on by being here? Well, I mean, I just think we're getting better. I mean, each and every day. I mean, it's been two days, and, and both of the days have been pretty good practices. Obviously, coming off a loss at Houston is disappointing. Um, we didn't play the way that we're capable of playing. Um, but you know, it, it's tough. But but it's fun at the same time. And we know we know you know there's a there's a there's a goal at the end of the tunnel, and that's that's to get to Green Bay and, and to be ready to go. You feel that since the Raiders have been kind of a losing team in the past, and even last week that. You guys might have caught a break for this coming weekend, maybe an easy no, win. Or no, no, I mean, because each, each game is its own game. I mean, we know we're going to have to come out of here and play well. And, um, they're going to be hungry for a win, obviously, same as we will be. And, and both teams will play hard. I mean, it's the third preseason game, and um, you know, we definitely want to have a good taste in our mouth after this one. All right. Thank you.